What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video. And today I'm going to show you the ugliest Jordans, right? To me, these two are the ugliest Jordans of all time. They may be uglier. They just may be. But I think these are the worst Jordans in my collection. They're pretty trash, right? I probably will never wear them. I only have these for collection purposes only. It just is what it is. These are trash. They're crazy, right? So first one I want to show you is the Jordan... 2012 right this is when they went to the year jordans and he modeled this obviously after a shoe right you can see the tip on the toe is modeled after a dress shoe oh man these are so whack <laughs> these are whack i know mike is into like suits you know grown man shit cool but these were corny what they did here was they did this like mesh in this glossy material almost has like a glitter effect and then over it they put leather panels over it right i mean you could see the fly wire being utilized and then they put fly wire they even put it within the midsole right so the midsole looks trash the toe looks trash the fly wire exposed looks trash this is a wax shoe man <laughs> this is so corny ah uh, bro and then they put 2012, in case you forget what year it was that you purchased this garbage, they put 2012 on the aglet, right? Let me see if I lace these, if they would look any better. No, they wouldn't. Hold on, let me see. All right, I'm going to give these a chance to redeem themselves. Maybe laced, they look okay. No, they look worse. <laughs> All right, so... Oh my God, this atrocious Jumpman logo. Jesus Christ. So yeah, not my favorite Jordan in my collection. Probably my least favorite, actually, to be honest. But again, I got it for collection reasons. It's the only 2012 that I own. It will be the only one that I own. I probably let go of it one day, but I've always wanted to collect one through 30, whatever it was. So whatever the latest model is, I always wanted that. Now I will say this, performance-wise, probably a beast. Why I say that? Because they model after the 2011. And if I'm able to take this out, oh my God, you could take the whole fucking shoe out. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that. So, with that being said, let me show you what it actually looks like in the inside. This is crazy, son. Oh my God. So you literally just have a shell of the shoe, which is kind of dope. The way you could actually manipulate and change a lot of this stuff. Because I believe you could change like everything. So that was pretty dope. But you could change the insole. That's what I was trying to get at. This, oh, okay, okay. I see you, Jordan Brand. So this one had an articulated zoom pod, right? Probably wondering what that's for. It already has break-in creases. So the zoom's able to break in with it. I love the fact that I actually put this articulated zoom unit in it. So they did a great job with that. It actually has the size, that it's a nine and a half. And then on the heel, they have your regular air insole unit. So crash pad for the heel. On the forefoot, this is where you need the ability to jump and spring off and do moves or whatever the case may be, right? We see the similar setup now. Zoom in the front, some sort of crash pad. They're using Jordan Formula 23 foam currently but we've seen this setup before this is what the 16 would look like this is what the 17 i believe looks like as well it's an air unit in the back and then a four foot zoom unit in the front right so let's put this monstrosity back together and i believe different versions of this shoe had different sock linings as well so like you can go a little bit higher it was kind of crazy this shit has no tongue son oh my god this is crazy pretty cool but the sneakers terrible right listen sometimes jordan brand's gonna miss my favorite brand of all time so i'm not cooking them because i want to cook them look how loyal i am to them i definitely purchase a lot of jordans so i'm just saying sometimes you strike out this was a strikeout in my opinion aesthetically aesthetically garbage and then one of the worst sneakers of all time is right let me make sure i'm in frame for this one all right i'm in frame Okay, let me show you. It has Jordan pointing 
doing the, you know, I'll put a picture up, but he's doing this. And holy shit, man. I think when you put art on sneakers like this, it just looks crazy. The sneaker itself, this colorway isn't as good. And I'll give you an example, right? I have two more pairs here. And listen, you guys could say that this is a whack colorway as well, but this looks way better than this version, right? So for the Jordan 22, it's already one of those models where it's not as nice as the others, but when you do this to it, right? This looks way better. This is actually a fire sneaker. And this whole back lights up. Everything on this lights up. Modeled after an airplane fighter jet, you know. When you do this to it, no bueno. Hold on. Even the white version. Right? I have the white version right here. Looks clean. It's not bad. I'm not going to say it's dope. But it's not bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's rockable. This The black pair is definitely the best one. Um, the suede on this is like a really nice quality suede or new buck. And then all the like little details within it, really nice. But the white pair, not so bad either. Uh, nice tumble leather, you know. But man, when you get to that pair, bro, uh, this pair is atrocious. The one thing that I really, really dislike is this like metal shank. It looks like tinfoil. I think it looks super gross. I don't know. I don't know. Cool thing about this one, though, is the tech, right? You have Zoom pods, literally, and you can change them out, bro. That's crazy. So you take out the insole, you pop out the Zoom pod. You can actually pop in the air unit. Zoom's always better than air. I don't care if it's four foot or the heel. Zoom's always, to me, the more superior air cushioning technology. But yeah, this is... One of my ugliest sneakers in my collection. And we are going to put it back. Because it's so... You know what? Let me not put this one back. Let me put this one back. So, we're going to wrap this one up. Let me show you the ugliest kicks Jordan Brand has ever made. These are it right here. Hopefully, the Jordan 38 looks better than the 37. I think the 36 was really fire, but we'll see, right? So, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we, <laughs> bro, what? Yeah, Jordan 2012 Basuda. On that note, we out. Peace.